Hi, hello everyone and welcome back to Niche. We are back on the Whale Island and we have had so many new babies recently that um, I've gone through and I've named every single one of them. So um, I'm gonna have to go through every single one of them. And also I realized after um, that I didn't actually name the ones that were born in the round that I just skipped to um, start this um, episode. So we do have, I think, maybe three babies that haven't been named yet. But I'm going to go through the ones that we have named. Um, which should be, I think, everyone on this row and below. So this one's the one that hasn't been named. So he's been born this round and it's Chestnut's last baby. So Chestnut passed away that round that I just skipped. Is that uh, Chestnut's only baby? Oh yeah, no it's not. Okay, so we have this new baby who's a little boy. I haven't had a look at him yet, so let's have a look at him. Double big body, double varina claw though, which is fine, but I prefer the uh, one uh, runner pool first. But very cute, very cute. And then we have, oh, another one, Rara, who, um, actually, I really like that name. I might keep that one. But um, that's Artemis and Katniss's child. And then we have Rusty, who is um wolf and blossom's child i think he's the youngest one at the moment and i think no they haven't had one since and then we have caramel who is ginger and ajax's um daughter jasmine who is lily and birch's daughter um daughter yeah and then yara who is lily and birch's son who is yasmin uh jasmine's brother twin brother and there's celine who is katniss and artemis's daughter Jax, who is Ajax's son. I I wanted to have a name that was basically the same, like sort of very similar, and in the end I just went for Jax because Ajax. Don't ask me why, they just look exactly the same, so I reckon I'm gonna get really confused with them. <laughs> Especially because he's actually quite young, I, I think, um, Ajax. And then we have Narcissus? Narcissus? I, how the hell do you say that? I had it in my head and I can't remember how you say it. Um, but she is the daughter of Lily and Birch and then we have Barley who is Wolf and Blossom's son. I love that name. I think it's cute. This is the Wanderer and I always say I'm never gonna name the Wanderers something else because I think it's respectful to keep to leave them with the name that they were already given. Then Daffodil we've already met before. She's Lily's daughter and then New Baby who is Fawn and Azul's baby. Okay. And then we have Stag, who is Fawn and Azul's baby as well. And I called him Stag, obviously, because Fawn is called Fawn, you know. Um, but one thing I was going to say as well is Lily's children. I named them all after flowers, which I thought was cute. So there's Jasmine, Yarrow, and Daffodil and stuff. They're all named after that. I don't know how to pronounce the, the other one. and I've, I think I might have screwed myself over by naming her that, but I thought it was cute. So, Oh, Smoke, you're about to pass away. Let's get you to lick him. And then I was gonna invite him in so that he could, he becomes friendly, this friendly Verena. And if we find him around again, some, usually they just go off into the bushes and you never find them again. But if we do keep finding him around, I might actually just end up breeding him in quickly before we end up going to the next island. Because once um, this uh, generation who is currently having the babies have passed away, I am going to move them or move the next generation, obviously, over to this island instead. So we'll obviously have to collect the ones that we want to take again. And um, I think that'll be maybe next episode we'll have to move them and stuff because at the moment um, they're still having the babies and stuff. So we want to make sure that we have the best babies possible. So then Rusty can move at the nest. Blossom is already pregnant, which is good. And then I'll put in the nest again. Ajax. And then... I was gonna get Ginger and this guy to breed. And he needs good eyesight for sure because he does not have that at all. Um, he doesn't have any poison fangs. Yeah, he's really not the best gened creature and I really, really don't think we'll be keeping any of his children. But I wanted to see if I could get that scorpion tail in even though um, actually Caramel does have that in her genes. And yeah, Ginger only has two days left to live, which means that she can have this baby and then maybe Ajax's baby or just his baby twice. I don't know. I'm going to see how this first baby turns out. 
And I really, really don't want that bat wing in there. I really don't want that bat wing in there. But I really want him to have good eyesight. But I'm going to give him the stag, uh, those antlers. And I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do. So, I can't remember who else I said I was going to breed with him. Was it Katniss? I think it was Katniss, but I don't want to. <laughs> Um, no, I think I will just leave it to Ginger for this one. So, actually, if you could breed with... Do you have any things in your... No. Um... She doesn't really need to work on anything. So... Right, I'm gonna do it. I don't think it's gonna go very well. I've sort of changed my mind since last time saying that I was definitely gonna breed them. Um, uh, let's get him to pick from that berry bush again. And then, oh, Cole, can you grab that guy? Yay, awesome. And then once this little baby has grown up, we will get him to grab that one. And then, Jax, you can't pick from any bushes, so I'll just get you over and try and get you to catch some berry, uh, bunnies or something. Oh, Artemis, perfect. Grab some of them. And then Katniss and Wolf. Did you have a baby together or... No, that's Artemis' baby, but Wolf is right here now. Which means they can breed. Um... She doesn't have anything in her genes, but... Um... I don't think they really need to add anything in, to be fair. Like, any of the Jews that we have specifically, but I, I don't think they do, so... I'll get him to breed with her, and then he can come back down with the berry bushes down here. And then she can... How many days is he left? He's got five days left. So I'll wait for this new baby to um, grow up enough, and then I'll have her have that baby. She's got poison fangs. Good. <laughs> I want to make sure 100% that they have poison fangs before I get them to uh, pick from those berries. And then Lily... Oh! Lily's pregnant, so she was going to have one last baby before she passes away, which is her, it's her last day today, so. And then neither of Fawn's children have poison fangs. Oh gosh, um, I might breed them once more. I'll get them to have that baby next round, which will be her very, very last baby. And then I want to sort out which, which ones we're going to take with us and which ones we're going to leave behind. Oh my gosh, wow, two, two bunnies and one. Uh, can you get that one? Nope. Narcissus. Narcissus? No? I don't think that's right, but I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so stupid. I should have looked up how to pronounce it before I even named her that. Um, Artemis, you're chill. I'm just gonna go get you back to Katniss. And he's only got three days left, so, um... Oh, did any of your babies not have... Yeah, you didn't have poison fangs. She did. Celine does have poison fangs, which is great. Good. Um, and she has a bee gene as well, which is what he wanted to pass on, which is good. Very, very good. I never checked the thing to see if the A gene came in, did it? Did I? Celine? No, the A gene. Not the oh. Wolf, you still haven't passed on the A gene? Seriously? Come on! <laughs> uh, he's actually only had two babies so far, which is fine. Um... But he's got two babies on the way. She'll have it this round, then you'll have it next round, and then she'll have one the other round. So it'll just be like, um, every single day we'll have a, a wolf baby, basically. Um, Stag, you can leave the nest now. You're all good. Lily, you can stay there, so I guess you're just gonna stay. Don't wanna miss click and actually take her out the nest on her last day. Ghost, pick berries for us, thank you very much, that's great. Opal, grab some of these bunnies for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very helpful. Grey, just pick some of these. Loki, you can pick some berries as well. I'm so glad it rained the other day. Oh, was it Astra's last day? Oh my gosh. So Astra's going to pass away now. Oh gosh, and I think that's everyone. So I'm going to skip to the next day. That's Astra's passed away. Who else passed away? Lily passed away. And someone else passed away. Lily, Astra, anyone around here? There's Astra. 
Oh, it was um smoke. Smoke passed away. Yeah, I remember. And then we've got Kari over here all by herself. I'm gonna try and get her to go back into like civilization. <laughs> She's been out bit been out here all by herself. Opal, grab that bunny that's just stood right Oh, grab those both of those bunnies that have just been stood right next to you. Wow. Loki, you can pick these berries before those bunnies do. Daffodil, you do the same. Barley, you too. <laughs> and Oh look! <gasps> he has a little peacock tail! Oh that's so cute! Oh, still no Aegean though, which is really weird. Um, I'm gonna bring her out, get her to breed again. Um, and then I think they can have maybe one or two more children. I think, I can't remember. And then uh, Katniss is pregnant with Wolf's child. So hopefully this one will be the Aegean. Hopefully. Get those berries from there. You can't pick those berries, Artemis. But you can pick these ones. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and then you can grab that one. You can also grab one of those. And Lily had a baby who has C and F. What dream are you trying to hop? Oh, I, wasn't it? And I'm pretty sure one of these two have I. Yes, Yara does. Okay, good. Oh, and, and this one does. <laughs> Jasmine, grab that one, please. Thank you. And Yara can come over and grab it for her. Thank you. Fawn, it's your last day as well. Let's pop you in the nest and hope that you have a poison fanged baby for once. Because if you don't, then unfortunately you're not going to have any babies to come with us. But then Azul needs one with a D gene. And Stag has that, so he might have to go. Because I think that Azul was the only one with a D gene? Yeah, he was. Okay, so if this baby isn't poison fanged and... Um, doesn't have the DD and the stag will be the one to come with us because uh, we can't not take over the DD. Birch, you can grab some of them, please. And Birch has the I gene, yeah. So I want to make sure that, yeah, 100% that we've got every single gene to take with us, apart from the A gene. The B gene, it's got Celine, which is good. I think Celine is perfect, no problem with her. The C gene, we've got the new baby, we have Yarrow. And then Daffodil as well. I think Daffodil might pass away by the time we leave anyway. Or like be about to pass away before we leave. The D gene we've got Stag. The E gene we have this new baby. Oh, And Barley. I don't realise the E gene wasn't that common. That's really weird. I thought E gene was quite easy. But Barley and that new baby have got that E gene. So then we have a bunch of people with the the f gene no matter who we take we'll basically have the f gene in there anyway so i'm not worried about the f gene the g gene we've actually got not as many as i thought i thought we had loads of people with the the g gene as well but we've got rusty caramel daffodil and this new baby okay that is surprising we had tons of g genes oh and the h gene a stag is the only one with the h gene as well Wow, Stag, you might be a very popular creature to mate with then. Hang on, who else has the H gene? Did we not breed in- Oh, Katniss has. And so did Ginger. Neither Katniss or Ginger has passed on that. Wow. And the I gene, we've got Yarrow. Uh, we've actually got quite a few, to be fair. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is the new baby that Ginger had. She's not looking that bad, honestly. She has hemophilia um, in her inactive genes. And I think we have actually got... Oh, I think we've actually got um, the gene that can get rid of that. I think we have this normal blood clotting gene in our... Oh my gosh, mutation menu. That's the one. But she's not actually that bad. I thought she was going to look at, come out way worse. And she's got the poison stinger! Okay, she's not actually- she genuinely isn't that bad, and that's actually made me really happy. And the star gene, we have Jax. Wow, okay. Jax and this new baby, which we probably won't take because she doesn't have the, po the poison fangs we wanted, so... Jax, you might want to come with us. And then the K gene, we've got loads, so I'm not worried about that one. So we do have at least one creature with everything, apart from A at the moment. Which we do currently have a bunch of creatures having. We, we currently have two creatures having uh, wolf children, so. Um, and he's got four days left to live, which I think means he'll have like four, four more babies, which is good. Not, it, not really worried about it. Oh, there's just a random nest here. Oh, 
I didn't mean to do that. I was supposed to try and pick it up. Um, Grey, can you come pick that pick that one up, please? Thank you. And that bunny's running around eating from our berry bushes. Hmm, not good. Celine, jump up there. There's just so many creatures I don't know what to do with. Oh, hello. He's just sitting under you. Okay. So Ginger had a really actually not bad kid with him. I don't know whether to push my luck and have one last child with him. Because Ajax... The K and E gene, you're not really classic on anything that's super important. And there's tons more females that can breed with him. But I think maybe Ginger could try it once more to have another baby with this guy. I really don't think it's going to turn out very well, honestly. Oh, that's a good thing I could have put in the genes. Is, um... Oh, never mind, it's gone. Oh, that's a, that was terrible. I should have um, fixed the fertility genes. They're not the worst, but they they won't have the best fer fer fertile child, fertility child. What what even is English? Um. <laughs> so you, Caramel, have just killed that bunny, which is great. Ghost, you're perfect. Just eating from those bushes. Thank you very much. Um, Rusty, can you? Yeah, you can pick. Good. And then oh, little baby. And then Cole. Cole has just been catching bunnies this whole time. And he's actually been really good at it. But that's his last day today. And he couldn't manage to catch that last little rabbit. Dang it. Oh, hello. The whales decided to make noises. Um, and I think... Is that three that have passed away today? So that would be Ginger. Um, Cole and... Has anyone passed away from... And Fawn! Oh. Fawn left behind a baby boy. With the H and the K gene and no poison fang. Um, so I think Stag might be the one to come with us next time. I think he will. Because he is the only one with that K gene. The D gene, I mean. <laughs> if we get a Zord to brood with one more person. K and D. Okay, maybe not. I don't think I will. Because I... I don't think... It's difficult to figure out who is going to come with us and who's not. Then Bert, you've lost your mate, sadly, but you've had quite a few kids, actually. I think you've had three or four. I think that was your fourth child. So where are you? Bert. Yeah, you've had four kids. I don't think that's bad. And some of them are definitely going to come with us. I think Yaro and Jasmine will come with us. Although Jasmine does have the genes that we, like, don't really need. We, we've got so many of those. But she's got some pretty good genes. Like, her genes aren't faulted at all. And she's got that big body as well. I think I want to favour the big bodies over the ones with the small bodies because they just help out so much and I really want to breed that back into our family tree. And then his wolf baby! The H and the A gene! Yes! Katniss, thank you so much! We've got one with the A gene, perfect. And another one with the H gene, which is what, something we needed. The little guy. I love this guy. I don't know what it is. I love the peacock tail so much. I think it's adorable. Uh, you try and pick from that. I don't think you can. Um, oh, I just saw a bunny go down there. No. Uh, Rusty, you just keep... You guys can just keep picking from these berry bushes, honestly. We need lots of this. Daffodil. Daffodil, where did you even come from? Like, you've just been set sat here like joining in this little family on the on the side of the island uh oh and then she left behind our uh, a bat winged baby okay this isn't the one we're gonna, we're gonna take definitely not i think we'll take um this this one right here um uh, if we do take her we might not but if we are gonna take her then i think if or oh, one of these guys then i think we will take that one um but we will have a job breeding out some of those bad genes, which is fine. And then we've got a bunny right here. You can grab that one. Thank you very much. Stag and this one don't have enough move points to get over there. No, they can't pick it up. 
They're all trying to rush over there to pick it up, but eventually, next round, then they'll all be able to pick them up. Oh, oh. Grab that one. You grab that, and then I'm gonna get. Oh, if you couldn't. No! Oh. I keep trying. I'll... No, he's not gonna come back. Oh, wait. Ooh. Every movie just keeps going back and forth. Oh, no, ghost, you missed it. You would. Oh. But could Kari? Nope, Kari could not. Okay. Boo. Dang it. Okay. Um. <laughs> You can get rid of that nest. We don't need that nest. Um, and then I'm just sort of getting some of them to just bounce around and do whatever, honestly. They can just run around. Chill. Oh, and then these guys could actually pick from these berries over here because they've got picking ability. So yeah, once everyone has passed away and we've finished off with the last of the breeding, then um, I think... I might try and sort them out into who is going to go on the next island. Obviously with the little gem thingies that I always do. <laughs> um, and then Katniss and Wolf. I'm going to get them to breed once more. And I'm not going to put her in a nest for now. I'll get her to pick some berries first. And then... So then Blossom will have this next baby now. Which will give these two only two days left to live. Then she'll have that one. Then he can. Oh, it's so confusing, but I think that means that what that Katniss can have a baby once Wolf has passed away. Um, I think. But that's everyone. Wow. Okay. So I guess that that means that I'm gonna end this one here. I was gonna try and do it until. Uh, these guys pass away, but that'll be way too long. Um, so, obviously, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!